so we can take pictures, right? Please, you can take all the photographs you want. And believe me, there's very few photographs online, unless other guests have posted them, of this building. This was always mostly for workers. There's even a little cafeteria here. You can see the old consoles. photographs of it online and I've had many architects do here morning architects of this building continuing to use these. So although it does not look like Star Wars, this is the newest firing room. And this is where the last launches came from, and this is where Atlantis came from. You've got your whole orchestra out here, you've got your horns, you've got your strings, but here you've got your environmental control and life support systems. You've got your hot spares, you've got your purge, vent, and drain. These are the different departments that are monitoring everything getting ready for launch. 200 people in here, 200 people in another firing room. Yeah, the launch, and I'm going to show you right where the launch is. This is very impressive. And you're going to get video from the bottom. Pretty neat, huh? We just don't have any rockets to launch today. Not today, but we will. 
You can see all three of the whole group. So you can imagine trying to launch all the tension and pressure. Everybody's facing this way. You can see the launch director standing up here to see what's going on. And even after the launch, right at the point of ignition and launch, mission control goes to Houston then. Well-rested Houston. And then this group's not done. They still have to finish up their paperwork. They still have a lot of work to do. And then, after all that's completed, then they can take a break and take a rest. Once that orbiter would come back here and land, we'd take over mission control again. When you're watching the International Space Station on TV, that's mission control in Houston. President Johnson, we split up the workforce that way. That way we had two safe areas, two different workforces. They train the astronauts in Houston. That's where they, you see the big swimming pool, where they train underwater. They do a lot of his landing gear. Out in LA, you saw that one going down the street. That's Endeavor. That's going to be mounted like it's launching. And Atlanta's here, you can see how it's going to be on its side. It's going to have its bay doors open like it's working. So we got all three of them. The Intrepid, you're right. That is up in New York on the uh, deck of the Intrepid. That's the Intrepid. That is the uh, Enterprise. 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 Yeah, how did I, I just said that two minutes ago. Yes, the Enterprise was a test uh, orbiter. Because you can see the safety guard. So you can see, you can imagine right now if you're back here at these desks and you're waiting for that launch, watching it go up, you know it's launching, you can look up those windows and see it go. How do you think I got this job? <laughs> I get home, my husband says, aren't you tired of talking? I say, well, no, let me tell you who I met today. Just real quick, folks, I have